so there's a few things I left out of my previous video, more so tips. Uh, new to crossbows, uh, just a heads up, everything on them is going to rattle. Every piece of hardware, uh, they say you need to go back through and check the, the main bolt that attaches the riser to the you know stock part every 25, 30 shots. Uh, I don't recommend, you know, some guys will say, you know, put blue Loctite on that. I don't recommend putting blue Loctite on it. But what I do recommend is using, like, this is a boning seal tight bowstring wax. It's the green stuff. There's like green lettering and red lettering. Use some of this on the threads to that bolt. Um, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't set up like Loctite does, but on anything field points into your arrows, um, any screws whatsoever. Put a little bit of this on the threads, kind of helps hold them in there. That uh, gives them just a little bit of bite, but not, you know, not to the point of Loctite. Now, blue Loctite. I do recommend blue Loctite on scope hardware. So like your rings, uh, your, your upper bolts on your rings, the ones into your little Picatinny rail, for sure, blue Loctite, don't use red, for the love of God, don't use red. Blue, a little bit of blue, you don't have to coat the entire, you know, bolt in it, just the last few threads. Put some good blue Loctite on it, make sure you shake it up good before you use it. Easy. So those two, out of the way, done. The other thing, crossbow users, this uh, rail lubricant, get some. This is Excalibur. Uh, Excalibur crossbows must have, and this goes on the flight track only. Just put a little bit on your finger, run it up down the flight track. Uh, do that every, I don't know, 20, 30 shots. If you get it out, it gets rained on. Come home, clean your bow up, re-wax it. Gotta have this stuff. It is amazing. Keep it. Don't run out of it. If you do, get it immediately. So this is the other, the other, uh, string wax option. You could use this, I guess, on the rail if you wanted to. It's a little heavier consistency. I wouldn't recommend it. I would stick to the rail loop. These are super slick, and I recommend them for the cables, where the cables go through the riser and ride. Barnett on this 420 put a little Teflon, I don't know, slide in there basically to keep it from rubbing, you know, on the actual machined aluminum risers. There's a little plastic insert and then there's like a little piece of Teflon stuck to it. Pretty good idea, but you got to keep it looped up. So what I did before I even assembled the thing was I looped the cables up. Uh, I got a little Q-tip, took some of this stuff out of the tube. I kind of prefer this accelerator wax more than the uh, Barnett crossbow lube wax. This accelerator stuff is super slick. Uh, Check that out, get you some. Pretty good item to have around. But yeah, definitely that on the cables. I use this heavier consistency on the actual string itself. Uh, you don't want to get it on the served parts of the string, just on the actual exposed, you know, gray and black or whatever color you have, that actual string material itself. Keep it waxed up, you start seeing it look a little fuzzy, it's starting to fray. Uh, definitely keep them waxed up. It'll preserve your strings a lot longer than letting them run dry and you know having fibers start to peel off of them. So that's it. Just a few little tips there. Um, I can't emphasize the Loctite enough. If you have a crossbow with a scope on it, even a compound uh, where your scope attaches to the riser, put Loctite. I mean, a little bit of blue Loctite never you know never hurt anybody. Keep it on there. Uh, Keep those things tight. I've I've missed deer before because I had crossbow scopes come loose on me. Uh, yeah, that's one of those things when you find a loose piece of hardware, it just it's nobody's fault but your own because you didn't check it. Uh, so yeah, a little blue Loctite's your friend. I would not recommend using anything other than blue. Uh, don't use red. Don't use green. Don't use any of that. Blue is good to go. So yeah. That's uh, just a little tip for you, new crossbow hunters. Make sure you guys get that taken care of. Might save you a little bit of frustration or aggravation down the road. So, good luck.